All right, so in this video, we're gonna get into how you can stop comparing yourself to other people because it's a source of so much anxiety in the world, right? You start comparing yourself to your friends who have better jobs, your friends who make more money than you. Then you go on Instagram, you see all these like cool ass lifestyles of all kinds of people who are younger than you, same age as you, or even older than you, and you just feel worse, okay? Now, how do you stop comparing yourself to others? It's a weird question because you almost know the answer, right? You just stop comparing yourself to others. That's it. You just you just stop. Um, but to ask how sort of implies that you find it very difficult and you constantly find yourself comparing yourself, right? So let's actually get into the tactics of this. One day I met this girl uh, at a bar and naturally we were talking it was good back and forth and then I asked for her Instagram and she was like I don't have Instagram and I said why don't you have Instagram and she was like you know I just started um when I went on it a bunch of times I realized I didn't feel that good afterwards or I like I wasn't I was kind of scrolling and then I realized I didn't feel good so I just deleted it and I was like huh and then I started thinking about it and I was like, that is actually a very, very smart girl that actually had the pause, the moment where she could watch her own feelings. You see, so many of us don't do this. You never actually stop to actually monitor your thoughts or your emotions. This is something that is very commonly practiced in meditation. It's called watching the thinker where instead of like getting consumed by your thoughts, like, I hate this person, this is so bad, how could this person do this? Or like getting consumed by your emotions, like I'm so angry, I'm so pissed, like you kind of just watch those emotions inside you arise. And then in the moment that you watch it, the consciousness that is aware of the emotion is not the emotion itself. And therefore there's this separation where you can kind of go, huh? and you can actually release that emotion. It's really cool. I mean, that's not the topic of this video, but this kind of internal self-awareness is so rare to see in the world. And this girl had it about herself. She realized her own internal emotion relate, like after scrolling was not good. So she thought this app just isn't making me happy. So I'm going to get rid of it. Right. And she did it. So what did I do recently? I also felt it's not because I compare myself to other people. For me, it was like Instagram was just a default robotic hand movement as soon as I opened the phone, right? It's something about the app's color or it's just a habit. It's almost muscle memory. Like a pianist has muscle memory. You just click, like I just open the phone and just boom, immediately on Instagram. I'm sure 90% of people in the world do this. Like, oh, but Instagram, whatever, uh, Facebook, TikTok, whatever the thing, Snapchat. And I realized this. I had the same moment as she did where I went, hang on a second. My finger's just doing this and I'm not getting any value out of this. And I'm just wasting so much time doing nothing on Instagram rather than just doing this. Now, this is coming from me who uses Instagram as a business vehicle to spread the message that I spread in fitness, right? So I think actually the most sane way to use social media is to use it for your brand, um, unless you're kind of some kind of artist sharing his work. But if you're just a normal guy with just whatever, and then you're just like, oh, look at this pic that I like, you know, it's okay, it's, everybody does it, so I don't wanna like insult everyone. But I think Generally speaking, that's feeding into this kind of hyper comparison based society that we have where everybody's more unhappy at the end of it, but everybody's trying to look like they're a bit happier than the other person. Okay. So the first thing is have the self-awareness to realize that comparing yourself to others doesn't feel good and that Instagram and these social apps actually facilitate this comparison with other people. And therefore, if you just delete the app and only go on it on your desktop or on your Mac, then that's gonna radically help you. It's like not putting chocolate in the fridge, okay? So that's the, the first kind of tip that I have for you, which is, which is twofold, right? You gotta have the self-awareness to know it's not good for you. And then you gotta take the action of 
deleting the app or just at least limiting the time you spend on those socials. But that decision can only come if you if you realize that the comparison makes you unhappy. Like you need to realize that. Realize that right now. Um, so the next thing is, I'm, I'm walking down like this. Uh, this actually happened today when I'm like uh, uh, going to shop some stuff to cook for my parents. Like I'm making this pasta. And then this couple was walking and they were like, one one of them was just like trying to look at the other's phone and the other one was just engrossed and she was like complaining about a phone and then moments later they were doing like this smiley picture right so you have seen this thousand times in your life right so you know intellectually that what they post on social media and what they actually live emotionally in their real world reality are radically different and now the distinctions being blurred where people live almost more as their digital avatar than themselves. And this is actually a root cause of a lot of lot of anxiety and probably a lot of mental health issues later down the line, right? But this is what's happening. People are portraying just idealized images of themselves. Like in Korea, it's crazy. Like girls just go to cafes just to take photos. Like, and who can get the prettiest like little pic, right? And then you see that one pic, you're like, oh my God, that's so pretty. She's having such a good time in the cafes. And it's like, dude, she took 50 photos, spent three hours editing it and just uploaded this one cafe shot where the whole way to the cafe and out the cafe, she was complaining. Okay, can you imagine that? Like, that's actually the majority of people. If you are astute enough to, to look around these 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 people. I'm not saying everyone's like this, but a great majority of people are like this. So don't fall into the trap of thinking what you see on the surface is the reality. Okay. And that leads on to the last kind of little thing that I want to tell you is as a society, we're all becoming more unhappy collectively by comparing, by living in a comparison society. So what do I mean? There's this concept in economics where if you're in the theater, right, you're just like all sat in the cinema or the theater and one guy just can't really see very well, right? So he he he, he peeks over the head of this guy like to see better for himself. And then suddenly the guy behind that guy also needs to, right? And by this logic, soon enough, the whole theater, the whole cinema is doing this. You see this in football stadiums, right? And then what happens as a result of that is everyone is more uncomfortable and nobody got a better view. And that's what's happening with the Instagramization of society and the over-comparing culture that we have now, where it's just about who gets more likes, who gets to post to this and that and the other. And everyone's more uncomfortable. Everyone's more unhappy because they're comparing themselves to fake standards, right? And nobody's actually better off. Like nobody's actually living like that good, like as good as they show in the pics and they know it themselves and, and, and so on, right? So that's what I wanted to say. Like, you, you you need to first of all know that you don't w comparing yourself makes you unhappy then you need to delete the thing then you need to realize that you know comparing yourself is the source of a lot of like anxiety in the world and that everything that you're comparing yourself to is generally most of the time fake and enhanced okay and those things should give you the kind of um peace of mind to be like, well, I don't need to feel bad uh, about this. And that, that that would be my advice to you if you're like, how do I stop comparing myself? And then the final thing actually is to say, you're not going to really get anywhere by comparing yourself to other people because there will always be someone that's better than you, right? Let's say you do healthy comparisons. Like you try to compare yourself to another guy and you're like, okay, I'm like more popular than him in my high school or whatever. Or like I make more money than him. And then you base your self-worth and your self-confidence on that, which is what a lot of people do, right? That's what, because humans are relative. You try to like get one up the other guy and you feel better. But then what happens to your confidence when we drop you next to a guy that's like richer than you then? Then you suddenly don't feel so confident now, do you? Or like you feel you're physically attractive and then we drop you next to someone who's more physically attractive and so on. So there's always this extra little thing 
where if you if you if you get your sense of self worth and confidence by comparing yourself to other people, you it's always a losing game. It's always a losing game, and you don't want to base your confidence and self worth on something external like that. Um, for the reasons I just mentioned. So what you want to do instead is what you've heard before, which is to compare yourself to you of yesterday and, and just progressing one step by step and focus on the process that you're on of just improving slowly. And if you can do that without getting like all sad by comparing yourself to fake images, you'll get a lot further than like 99% of people who are sat there trying to fake manipulate that like how people perceive them. Uh, so yeah, hope this video helped you stop comparing yourself to other people, compare yourself to you of yesterday.